So you might be trying to figure out how you can use Google Authenticator. Now, this is a very cool application that is a two-factor authentication app. So it'll basically allow you to go ahead and if your work you know, needs it or if your school needs it, it's a very, very easy application to go ahead and use. So you start off by downloading this type of application. It's available on a lot of different platforms. So go ahead and download it and install it as you normally would. Now, what you can do is you can go and open it up and it's going to require you to basically log into your Google account so find a Google account that you can basically use as the long as it's the one that's supported within your school or your office or whatever, then you're basically good to go. Now, the way this application works is it requires a setup key or a QR code that you can scan to even get started really for the most part. So as long as you're signed into your Google account, what you want to do is you want to click on add a code. So there's a few different ways to add a code. Like I said before, you can scan a QR code right here or you can enter a setup key. What I'd recommend doing is actually scanning the QR code because it is a much easier process and that's what I've done before and that's probably what I recommend for you to do as well. So click on scan a QR code and what you want to do is you want to allow you know, camera access and you want to get that QR code that you can scan from your office, from your school, whoever you, you know, is sending you the code or telling you to install this. So all you want to do is go and grab that QR code, scan it, and that's kind of all you're going to have to do. From there, it's going to automatically send you those keys. It's going to send you a refresh thing every once in a while. And that's all you're going to have to do. So if you don't have a QR code, you can also enter just the setup key right here. So you have that option as well. You can just do it this way. So once you have that information all figured out, you're almost good to go. All you're going to have to do here now is you're going to have to just, whenever you want to go and you know log into the page and it's going to ask you for the QR code or the you know keys in the other panel, all you want to do is open up Google Authenticator you're going to see those keys right here, and that's it. You're just gonna to have to type in those keys. Now, that's pretty much the basics of this. In the top left, if you click on these three lines here, you'll see a few things. You'll see transfer accounts. So if you want to ever transfer your account in the future, you can use that option to transfer them. You can see the how it works option kind of give you, you a breakdown of exactly how this stuff kind of works, but you kind of already know that, I'm sure. You can also click on your settings portion right here if you wanna change things. So your privacy screen, you can go and change this out if you want to. Your Google usage ID and your about page, you can kind of change those things out as well. Send feedback and help if you ever need help in it. You can also kind of change those things out there too. In the top right corner, you have your Google account. You can go inside of you know this particular panel if you want to manage your Google account. You want to add another account if you want to use the authenticator without an account and manage accounts on this device. So if you have multiple different Google Authenticator accounts, you can go into here and change those particular options out too. So you have that option here as well, which is really nice and convenient. Now at the very bottom, you have a plus button right here. So what this allows you to do is if in the future you have more codes that you want to add, or if you have more setup keys you want to add, you can go and add those here as well, just in case you have multiple login pages and multiple two-factor two -factor authentication pages you want to add in. You can go and click on those keys in the future and add those you know, particular keys in as well. So. That is basically how it's done. It's a very, very basic process, and that's essentially how it's done for the most part. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, soldier.